we will discuss the difference between linear frequency and angular frequency. Now as I know that linear frequency we define is the number of cycles the number of cycles which are passing through a certain point in a unit time which we call one second so the number of cycles passing in one second through a certain point is called linear frequency let's say this is point and from this point let's say how many cycles are passing this cycle and this cycle they are the same but here we are saying that how many are passing through this point in one second so i say that linear frequency is the number of cycles in one second and we define this in units of hertz which we write is hertz so how many cycles per second are there is called hertz and now angular frequency i will take this one this is also one cycle so in angular frequency how many rotations are completed how many cycles how many rotations are completed in one second so i will write that omega is defined the number of revolutions per second the number of revolutions per second how many revolutions are completed in one second and we say how many radians per second so the angular frequency or the angular velocity is actually the same thing we define this in radians per second now it is sometime in SI units we ignore the word cycle or radians and we only call that per second one more second and this create a confusion between the linear dynamics and the angular dynamics now we will have to think on this thing more that if i consider if i consider because is this cycle and this cycle is the same but this one is translating and this one is rotating only so let's consider a circle and in this circle Okay. let's say we are having two pi radians so in one cycle we mean one cycle we mean that it will start from here and it will go on all this and it will reach here so one cycle that we consider it in new is nu is equal nu is equal to one cycle per second we call this is linear frequency so in one cycles per second we are actually covering two pi radians because in one cycle we are having as a whole two pi radians and we call this is one hertz and in, in angular frequency 
an angular frequency, we will call this is one radian per second. Now, one radian is actually not two pi, but one radian is, as we discussed in earlier videos, that one radian is the angle in which the arc length becomes equal to the radius. So, that will be means omega is taking a less quantity here, one radian, while this one is covered in two pi radians. So, I will say that in hertz, one cycle, one cycle means I start from here and I go around this and I reach here. So, I have completed one cycle while in the radians, this is one radian. If this one radian is fast in a second, then another one radian is fast in a second, another, another, and another. So all these radians becomes in one revolution we are having two pi radians. So one revolution two pi radians while here we are considering a complete circle so I can write that I can write that omega is 2 pi times greater greater than nu so nu is the linear one and linear one is in one circle only one while omega is in one circle is giving 2 pi. So omega is always 2 pi times greater than nu. So I can write that omega is equal to nu but 2 pi times greater than that one because omega is one radian per second. One radian is this much. Then in the whole circle, it will become two pi radians. So comparing it with this one, we can write that this will two pi radians for the linear frequency in one cycle we are having two pi radians while for omega it is one radian per second and one radian is when the arc length become equals to this so we will have this thing omega equal two pi times nu this is the ratio this is the ratio of the angular frequency to the linear frequency which is two pi here we can now understand the very basic difference between the, the difference the difference between the difference between H and H bar. We know H is the Planck constant and H bar is called the reduced Planck constant. So we can understand this difference here very well. That is from the Einstein's relation that E is equal to H times nu. Now nu is the linear frequency. What is H? H is, H is called the Planck constant. Actually, the Planck constant is giving us the equality of this equation. Means energy is proportional to nu. Now the proportionality constant is actually H. So H actually relates that a photon of this much frequency will possess how much energy. So it gives us the energy of that frequency photon or that frequency radiation. We can write this one 
in terms of the angular is E is equal to H bar omega which is which is H bar is then H over 2 pi because we know because we know that here if I multiply this with 2 pi and I divide by 2 pi then 2 pi nu is equal to omega and h by 2 pi I write is h bar which I call the reduce the reduced Planck constant the reduced Planck constant now here we will have to see that h we write in linear dynamics while h bar we write in angular dynamics and we will prove uh, in another video that for the energy it doesn't matter whether it is in linear dynamics or it is in angular dynamics so omega is related means omega is the angular dynamics so h bar is the angular dynamics terminology now let's understand this thing that e is h is equal energy per unit frequency for unit radiations so this is the ratio of the energy of that much frequency radiation and I can write this one energy is in joule and nu is in cycles cycles per second so I can write that this is joule second per cycle so I will have to write this one with this now if I come to E equals H bar Omega then this one I can write that H bar is E over Omega and this is Joule and this one Omega is radian per second so this is joule second divided by radians so we we in si units we normally neglect here that this one h is joule second per cycle and h bar is actually joule second per radian and now the two pi vectors will come in that h is actually equal to h over 2 pi so that's why we call this one is the reduced long constant so we say that h is equal to 6.6025 10 power minus 34 and as we write joule second with this one then this is understood that this is per cycle and similarly we will divide this value when we divide this value by 2 pi then the 2 pi actually means 2 pi radians so it will come out to be 3.146 into 2 so it is around 6 so it will be 1 point something 10 raised to the power minus 34 and joule second per radian so this way we will have to differentiate between the linear dynamics or the translational dynamics and the angular dynamics so h is something which is related to the linear dynamics and h bar is something which is related to the angular dynamics so here we will have to differentiate between the cycles as well as the radians